Hey guys and welcome to Digit. Today we've got with us the Acer Swift 3 SF314 or you know let's throw out all the complicated numbers and model numbers out of the way. This is the Acer Swift 3 OLED, the latest one with the latest 12th gen uh, Intel processor. So you've got multiple variants of this including the Intel Core i5 and also the Intel Core i7. So what we've got here with us is the i7 variant. On the surface, the Asus Swift 3 comes back with some crazy specs including a 12th gen Intel Core i7 12700H processor, 16GB of LPDDR5 RAM and 1TB of NVMe SSD storage. Pair that with a fantastic OLED IPS display and a good selection of IO port offerings and consider the fact that all of this is, is packed into a thin and light form factor and you've got quite a bit of a winner here in the Asus Swift 3 OLED laptop. Now, while the specs may look great on the surface, how does the laptop actually perform? And is this Asus Swift 3 OLED actually worth your money? Well, I'm Manish, you're watching Digit, and join us as we dive into the full review of the Asus Swift 3 OLED. Starting things off with the build and design. The first thing you'll notice when you pick the Asus Swift 3 OLED up is that it's pretty light at just around 1.4 kgs. Now, considering the power this 14 inch laptop is packing, that's pretty impressive. The next thing you'll notice is the full metal aluminium body, which makes the overall build of the Asus Swift 3 feel pretty sturdy. This includes both the lid and the body, and there's very little flex on the display as well. So overall, we're quite impressed with the build quality on the Asus Swift 3 OLED. The Asus Swift 3 OLED features an OLED panel, duh, with thin bezels. Now, on the top, you've got a full HD webcam, which uh, uses Acer's temporal noise reduction technology to improve image processing. The AI noise reduction applies to the microphones on the Asus Swift 3 as well. So that makes it a pretty good laptop if you're looking for something for all your uh, work from home calls or when you're on the move and you need to, you know, join video conferencing. Etc. Etc. When the lid is open beyond 90 degrees, the back side of the laptop's base rises. So as you can see, it's, it elevates slightly, which provides for better airflow. There is a vent for hot air at the base of the display over here on the top right of the laptop base, as you can see. And right under the vent to the top right of the keyboard, you've got the power button. Now, the power button also doubles as a fingerprint scanner for added security, which is always nice. And speaking of the keyboard, for the most part, as is expected of premium thin and light laptops, it's got short key travel distance, but we like the feedback on it. So it was still a pleasant experience overall. And the keys are also backlit, which is a nice plus. Coming to the touchpad, you've got what looks like a glass touchpad, but it's actually not made out of glass. The uh, Acer is using a material called ocean glass for the touchpad, which uses plastic wastes from oceans that mimic glass. And we honestly couldn't tell the difference until we actually looked it up. We found the trackpad to be responsive enough, although we do tend to end up using a mouse most of the time. Uh, now, if you flip the laptop around, you will find the ventilation grill and the two speaker cutouts. So this is the ventilation grill and you've got the two speaker cutouts on either side. And uh, that about covers it for the build and design of the Asus Swift 3 OLED. Coming to the ports, we were pretty impressed with the number of I.O. ports that you get with the Asus Swift 3 OLED. These include two Thunderbolt 4 ports, an HDMI 2.1 connector and a USB Type-A 3.2 on the left side and the second one on the right side. So you've got one on either side. Here are the two lightning ports and the HDMI 2.1 and you've also got a Kensington lock and a dual combo uh, audio jack on the... This is the right side, yes. So. The presence of a Thunderbolt port means that you could actually plug an external GPU to this laptop and utilize its powerful processor to get some solid gaming done as well. Although you're still better off getting a proper gaming laptop and pro gaming is probably not your primary concern if you're considering an Asus Swift 3. But it's nice that it's still an option, even if that's not the situation. I know my destiny. Next, we come to the display. So, like we mentioned in the intro, the Asus Swift 3 OLED comes with a pretty great display. If I could just, there we go, yeah. What we have here is a 14 inch 90 Hertz OLED panel from Samsung, who are known for making arguably the best displays in the market with a resolution of 2880 into 1800p. That is a 16 to 10 screen ratio, which gives you a little more room to work with. 
And uh, as you can see from our benchmarks that we've run, we've got a peak brightness of 430 nits, which is pretty bright, an sRGB percentage of 100%, which is great, and a DCI P3 percentage of 99.8. As you can see from our display test scores, the display on this laptop is quite color accurate, making it excellent for your video and photo editing needs, among other things. At 430 nits, it's also a fairly bright display, and we were frankly pretty mesmerized by the display when we first turned the laptop on. Now we're at the meat of the review, i.e. the performance. We've already mentioned that the Asus Swift 3 OLED has some crazy specs on paper, but how did it fare during the benchmark? So, let's start things off with the CPU. Most premium thin and light laptops come with P or U variant processors. However, the Swift 3 OLED comes with an H variant, which puts it a cut above the rest. We compared the Intel Core i7-12700H on the Asus Swift 3 OLED to the top-of-the-line Intel Core i7-1280P on the Lenovo Yoga 9i. And the scores for the most part are very close with the Swift 3 OLED coming out on top for some tests and the Yoga 9i beating it out on others. Either way, both are top-of-the-line processors and will not disappoint you in any way. Next, we come to the NVMe SSD on the Asus Swift 3 OLED. The SSD in the Asus Swift 3 is not as fast as the Samsung SSD in the Yoga 9i. However, the read and write speeds on the Swift 3's NVMe SSD are still pretty good, as we saw from our Crystal Dismark benchmarks. After that, we move on to the RAM. You've got 16 GB of LPDDR5 RAM on the Asus Swift 3, which we tested using ADA64 benchmarks, and it has very similar performance to the RAM on the Yoga 9i. They were both 16 GB of LPDDR5 RAM. Either way, you'll be breezing through tasks on either of these laptops with the speeds that we're seeing so far. Finally, we also ran some synthetic gaming benchmarks on the Asus Swift 3 OLED, which comes with Intel Iris Xe integrated graphics. Once again, we're comparing the scores we got to the Lenovo Yoga 9i, which also comes with Intel Iris Xe graphics. However, the Asus Swift 3 OLED scored a fair bit higher on all synthetic benchmarks we threw at it. We limited our benchmarks to the light and mobile gaming benchmarks, obviously, because this is not a gaming laptop per se. But like we mentioned earlier, you can utilize an external GPU thanks to the Thunderbolt ports on the Swift 3 OLED and use it as a gaming machine. Once again, though, Keep it in mind, this is not a gaming laptop, but you should still be able to do light gaming on the device comfortably, including older AAA titles like GTA 5 and competitive games like Valorant. And if you're wondering how much all of this costs, well, the Asus Swift 3 OLED will set you back by around $1,250. We don't actually know the price of the i7 variant yet, but we do know the price of the i5 variant, which is currently available in the market, which starts at $89,999. Considering this is the i7 variant, once, it, once we do get the official pricing, you can assume it to cost slightly north of a lakh, which is actually a pretty good price considering the specs that you are getting on offer. So finally, we're at the verdict of this review. The Asus Swift 3 OLED certainly delivers in the performance department considering the specs it has packed inside its tiny body. That is paired with what is possibly the best WQXGA OLED display we've tested this year, a nice selection of IO ports and a weight of just 1.4 kgs. So this is a great traveling companion for those who need a light and powerful machine on the go. And uh, those are our opinions on the Asus Swift 3 OLED. What did you guys think? Let us know in the comments below and of course, Stay tuned for more reviews from us and let us know if you would like us to review any other laptops in the future. Thanks for joining.